All store owners are beyond frustrated at this point. Take a look at this vape shop here behind me here in Lincoln Park. All of the windows were smashed. This is the second time it's been hit in two weeks. Neighbors are also fed up with how small businesses are being targeted here. Surveillance cameras capture video of several burglars breaking the glass at Lincoln Park Smoke and Vape in the 2200 block of Lincoln Avenue overnight. They used sledgehammers to get inside, stealing the cash register, then ransacking the store. Neighbor Alex Sadler called 911 when he heard glass breaking from his window. So I looked out the window and just saw a ton of people walking in and out the store. Um, they're just going in, grabbing as much stuff as they could and just carrying it out to their car. And Within minutes, the thieves went a few storefronts over and robbed another vape shop called Mr. Vape and Smoke. It's the second break in at that shop in less than a week. This is surveillance video from last Tuesday showing burglars using a sledgehammer to get in and grabbing the register. Meanwhile, an employee from Lincoln Park Smoke and Vape didn't want us to share his identity, but he wanted us to share his frustration. It's so hard. I can't say that, but it's too hard for us. We don't make a lot of money, but spending money on this, too hard. The store employee at Lincoln Park Smoke and Vape telling ABC7 this will cost thousands to fix, and the fear of insurance carriers dropping them is real. Because we are seeing every other day, we got a couple of stores in the city, but we got every every store has the same story. So I don't think so any good thing's gonna change, but hope for the best. Many Lincoln Park residents are fed up as they walked past the broken glass this morning. I walk up and down the street every single day, and it's kind of sad to see that, you know, the business owner has to constantly deal with something like this. I know a lot of small businesses have it tough after COVID especially, and this just doesn't help. So I really hope they can catch these people. It's got to stop. It's too much. Back here live, the store owner says he feels hopeless as he has taken measures to protect his shop. Meanwhile, we did reach out to Alderman Timmy Newton to see what the city can do, but we have not heard back. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.